I'm Jodie Summers, I groom for Mary King. Welcome to Horse and Hands Clipping Masterclass. Today I will be clipping King's Temptress, who we call Tess here. Uh, she's an eight-year-old mare who we're taking off to Bukalo in Holland on Monday. When clipping a nervous horse, you should consider your choice of clippers. Um, a pair that are cordless are more suitable. There's no wire for the horse to get scared of. There are also available on the market some quieter trimmers, but these are more, more lightweight and more suitable for a park clip only. If you're planning on clipping a horse for the first time, it's very recommendable to desensitise your horse to the clippers first. Um, the best way to do this would be to clip another horse who's perfectly happy to be clipped next to your youngster. Um, it's also a good idea to run the clippers whilst you're grooming them. This gets them used to the noise, which quite often is, is the scariest part of being clipped. Once you feel they're happy around the clippers, introduce them very carefully. Just show the horse the clippers first, don't run them, don't do anything, just let them see them, sniff them. Then maybe try running them, as you have been before, stroking the shoulder and then taking the clippers to the shoulder very gently and just go steady as you go. The horse will let you know what it's comfortable and not comfortable with. If you feel that your horse is a danger to himself and of course you and others, it's usually a good idea to get a vet involved and sedation may be necessary. If you're clipping a ticklish area, such as under the belly, or your horse is being a bit restless, get a second pair of hands. They can help you restrain the horse or hold a front leg. This usually works. Okay, now I'm going to clip Tess's head. Um, she is very quiet, which some horses can be very head shy when you go and try and clip around their head. Um, but because she's quiet, I can quite trust her. Um, I'll take off the majority of hair with the big clippers. I'm being very careful around the sort of bony parts around her eyes and obviously her eyes themselves. I'm just going quietly and carefully and always making sure that the clippers definitely aren't hot. If you try and clip a horse's head and the clippers are hot, it can really put a horse off. Um, I would then get the smaller clippers to clip around the um, fiddly little bits around their edges of their ears and to clip out the inside of the ears if that's what you like to do. And then also use the smaller clippers to get a finer cut of their whiskers. So here we go. They're very quiet. Um, it's even easier to clip them if their head collar isn't on, but you've got to really know them and trust them to be able to do that. If... So just move it onto her neck here. So I still have her um, under control. I mean, I trust her and know she's going to stand quietly. It's much easier to do their heads because you aren't having to go in and out of the head collar that's on them. Okay, Very careful around her eye. Um, she's very good. Some horses would move their heads a lot and you would need to cover up their eye um, to help them accept the clippers. Very careful when you clip around the forelock not to suddenly jiggle and go and take the chunk of hair forelock off because you, you need all of that to plait. <laughs> Sometimes you have to move the skin around a little bit to get in the little crooks and crannies to make a nice smooth job. So now we're going to go in behind the elbow. So that's going to be a two-man job because there's quite a few wrinkles in under there and we need to pull them out straight. Moving on to her hind leg, um, I know that Tess here, as you've seen, is really calm and relaxed, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and carry on, but always be very cautious. Again, I've got my line already drawn on, so I've made life a little bit easier for myself. Good 
When you've finished, wipe your horse down with a warm, wet sponge. This gets rid of any little horrible hairs that's going to ir irritate them. And remember, you've taken quite a lot of hair off them and they're going to start feeling the cold. So you need to compensate and start rugging up. So once you've finished, it's really important to look after your clippers and make sure you put them away. Even though it is so tempting just to leave them out, it's really important to put them away. So first of all, you want to make sure you brush off all of the hairs back in the box. So when it comes to your main clipper set, you need to remove the blades, taking off the tension set completely. Removing the blades. And make sure you give them a really good clean. Back in their packet. and then go all the way over the handset. And store them in a cool, dry place. At the end of a busy clipping season, it's always advisable to send off your clippers, your trimmers and all your blades to a clipper specialist. They will then service your handsets and sharpen your blades ready for the following season. If you've enjoyed this video, come back next time for some more clipping tips.